one of the biggest feline predators in Africa to one of the biggest avian predators in Africa. We have ground hornbills and it's caught a little turtle and they've got such a powerful beak they're able to crack the turtle's uh, shell and uh, eat the yummy turtle if you're a, if you're a hornbull. And uh, a big welcome to the Maasai Mara. My name is Brent Leo Smith. I have Craig, who's also known as Batman on camera. And remember, this is live with these big birds eating that turtle. You can actually hear it crushing up the skull. So the turtle, the turtle is dead already. The hornbills managed to open up the turtle. But it's still using its beak as a pick to break open more of the shell to get better pieces. Poor little turtle. Didn't manage to get to the water fast enough because it was probably moving from a puddle to another puddle. But it unluckily came across the very big ground hornbill. So very few things are able to crack open the turtles and tortoises shell and this is one of the few. The other is hyenas and uh, sometimes lions but they generally prefer a bigger meal. Whether it's for this hornbill, this is a, a really nice big meal. You can see how sharp their beaks are. Well, this is not something you get to see every day. Now it's going to take quite a while for this hornbill to open up that turtle. Now, all you guys there at school, you're being a bit quiet. I want to hear questions from you and also from our viewers. Hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. Um, if you have any questions about what is happening with this glorious big ground hornbill crushing up uh, the poor little turtle. Now, it's not a tortoise, I can tell, uh, from the shape of the shell. Uh, tortoise would have a much higher shell, a, a sort of different shape. So this is one of the little aquatic turtles or terrapins that live in all the mud wallows and rivers and puddles in Africa. Now, I'm going to leave this beautiful bird to finish his dinner because I'm going way down south to see if I can find a leopard or a cheetah. And while I do that, let's head back to Ali, all the way in South Africa with the big, brutish Birmingham boys.